someone in the post office, and the door might have been, you could have one of the person sh- might have been open, the door, it shouldn't have been open, but it might have been open. Um, knowing me, it would have been slightly open, and I heard, uh, I heard a noise, and I think, I thought it was a uh, guy coming to the shop. Oh, dog makes a funny little noise sometimes. I tend to listen for that because normally the, the alarm system will go beep, beep. Normally, either it acts as a signal saying the kids have gone or it's up a state type thing because you shouldn't have an alarm clock. So I heard that. So I come, I suppose, hi, die. I come uh, out of the shop and. Uh, there's a, a, a guy there. Hang on a sec. What, what do you mean you've come out of the shop? You've come sorry, out of the, the shop. Sorry, I've come out of the post office. Post office. And you have to sort of like stick your head out. And goes, I die, and normally die, you'll say, Can you get me this or that for the. She makes sandwiches and stuff. And right. And things. Yeah. Or she comes and says, Can I bottle of Coke or a bottle of water? Or, or she says, Anybody in the shop? Because she's in the gym jams. Yeah. Mostly in the morning. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, the work, uh, what it was somebody stood there, and uh, they just said, to, "Oh no, do you know what? I knew straight away we were, I was going to be robbed. I just knew it because he obviously he was, you know, but and I wasn't really worried, you know. Uh, it's one of some stupid, but the first time I was absolutely shitting a brick, and this time, but he, the first thing he said to me straight away was, he said." Uh, don't do anything stupid, we've got your wife. And uh, he said, turn the lights off and uh, lock the door. So um, I, uh, I went back to our living bit, round the corner in, in, in our living bit is a light. So uh, I turned the lights off and I walked over to the door, just bolted and locked it because, you know, the key just locked, bolted it. And I came, uh, came back. He, he handed me a, a, um, a black hole doll, and uh, he said, "Put the money in the bag. I think I'll put the money from the safe. Can't remember. Put the money in the bag. I think he said." Um, so I just walked into the, uh, into the post office. He followed behind me. Not into the post office. Followed behind me. Went up to with the stool there. I went in and put the money in the uh, put the money in the, the hole doll. There was something else in there already, like a black thing, isn't it? I noticed when I put the money in, it won't empty the bag. Then I uh, emptied, uh, put my till money in, there's nothing in there, there's peanuts, you know, 100 quid for, you know, that's all I keep in there as a till filter. Oh, it's your till? Yeah. And I, because uh, I keep my till empty all the time, it's in my pocket. And, uh, Handed him the bag. I think he said, "Stay there." He, he just walked out, and I heard the uh, the front door open. It makes the right, you know, distinctive. And uh, I ran. Uh, so as soon as that, I thought, "Sod it!" And I went straight upstairs, and uh, I just turned. Um, Put my head in Dice's bedroom, our bedroom, and uh, saw Dice brought in the bed. 